the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The season of Lent helps us to let go of our sinful attachment to move in freedom and to journey towards new promises and hopes. It is possible because of God's love and His grace is actively working in us. The readings of today guide us to see God's promises and encourage us to look forward to a new future. In the first reading, we see God's election of Abraham. The Bible presents Abraham as a great model of faith. At God's call, Abraham left all the usual securities of life, his home, family, country, and set out for a land he had never seen. We can identify with Abraham because we too are on a journey. The great journey of life. First, we have to embark on an out outward journey where we reach out to our neighbor in need as Christ did. Second, an inward journey, a journey in search of oneself and a God who abides in us. In the second reading, Paul explains his own calling to be a servant of the gospel. He could fulfill his mission faithfully because God has given him the grace to transform himself as well as others. In the gospel, the father allowed the glory of his son to shine on the mountain to confirm Jesus in the work he had entrusted to him and to make it known to us. The presence of Moses and Elijah conversing with Jesus was meant to make clear what his work on earth was to be. He was to be the new Moses leading the new people of Israel into their promised land, providing them with spiritual food and drink they would need along the way. He was called to continue the work Elijah had done during his life to take men away from idol worship and lead them back to God. God the Father declares Jesus as his beloved Son, whom they should listen and obey. At that time, the disciples are afraid and could not fully comprehend what, what had happened. However, they would understand later that the glory and the power of Jesus was manifested to confirm his identity and the mission as the Son of God. Today, we can reflect on our own calling. We have been called, as St. Peter tells us, to continue the work of Christ here on earth. We too, like him, carry within us the life in the Spirit the very life of God. This life is hidden within us as long as we live in this world, 
not only by our human nature but also by the sins and our human weakness yet a day will come when this divine life within us will burst forth in all its brightness the life of a christian must be a grateful transformation a christian gives new meaning to everything in life a very different value from the one non believers attach to things thus for a christian life is a precious time to go on changing from sin to life in Christ work is golden opportunity to carry out god's will as christ did money and possessions are god's gift which we accept gratefully they enable us to help our brothers in need family is a treasure which god has entrusted to us for us to lead it back to god joy is the fruit of friendship with god which springs from our heart nothing and no one can destroy genuine joy within us sadness and suffering are precious coins with which we obtain our salvation death is our last act of worship to god a door leading us to the vision of christ how precious is our call is how grateful we should be to god for having called us to faith in christ enduring all our hardships we need to be gradually transfigured that is changed into other christ maybe we are discouraged by our weakness but we can remember abraham sara paul and the disciples who were chosen for god's purpose and did divinely endowed with power and strength jesus is with us and we can entrust ourselves to him let us conclude with a prayer lord grant us the grace today to be mindful of many blessings you bestow upon our lives each day the blessings of joy and peace as well as sufferings and hardships that we bear that we may bear with you help us lord that we may respond to your invitation as willingly as abraham did going as you direct us lord let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you amen